welcome back to my channel. So on today's episode, I decided to make another one of my favorite fishes. This is going to be rainbow trout and it's going to be grilled on the barbecue outside. So let me show you how to prepare and what ingredients you're going to need. So for the ingredients, of course, you're going to need a rainbow trout. So this one has been cleaned out and descaled and washed. We're going to be cooking just one today. You're going to need some tomatoes, any kind of tomatoes you like. Also, you're going to need some lemon juice, and I like to always use fresh lemon juice, not the one you find in the squeeze bottle at the store, not good. Um, some fresh dill, some fresh garlic. You're also going to need Dijon mustard, just original kind. Some just regular ground black pepper. Some salt, I like to use Himalayan pink salt. And also any kind of spice you like to use on your fish. You can use lemon pepper one or you can use any kind of spice for salmon or just fish in general. And this one just from European store. So that's all the ingredients you will need. So now let's just start by preparing our fish. So the first thing we're going to do is just cut up all the ingredients. So the first thing you want to do is you want to just cut up your tomatoes and you want to make half circles. So we're just going to take out the stem and we're going to slice it like this just half of the circle. So let's continue and we're just gonna cut up the dill. And we're gonna place it into the same bowl with the tomatoes. And the last thing we wanna do with this is we're gonna add some Dijon mustard right to this bowl and just mix all these ingredients together. And this is gonna be used to stuff our fish inside. Okay, so let's put that to the side. We're gonna cut the lemon in half and just keep it like this. We're gonna use the juice from the lemon. And you can either press your garlic through a garlic press or grate your garlic and just leave it on the plate or this board for now. Now let's dress up the fish. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make cuts like this through the skin until pretty much you hit the bones. And you're going to do that on both sides. So the next thing you want to do is just put salt, pepper and your first spice all over the fish on both sides, as well as inside the cavity and inside all of these slots we made. So just some salt all over, like I said, including these slots so the fish is salty inside, inside this cavity, all around and just rub it in. And some fish spice. Let's continue by putting the garlic that we put through the garlic press and we're just gonna put it inside these slots. So I like to use my fingers, I find it's the easiest. So just in every slot you put some garlic on both sides. Next, we're going to take this mixture that we made and we're going to put it inside the fish. So you're going to fill up the fish inside with this mixture. You can even put some inside the head as well. The last thing you want to do is just take and squeeze out some fresh lemon juice just all over the fish on both sides. And then what you want to do is leave it for 15, 20 minutes or so just on the countertop just to get the lemon to go through the fish a little bit and marinate a little bit. And then you want to place it onto some kind of a device. So I have a device like this to grill the fish just because the fish really likes to stick the skin to the grill. So I prefer to use one of these things and you put it inside, close it and put it on the grill. So this way, sometimes the fish does get a little bit stuck with this, but it's much easier to take it off. And this is much easier to wash. You just scrub it with a brush, put it through the dishwasher, it works out really well. So let's do the lemon. So just like that. And on the other side. Now let's just place it inside this device and we're going to grill it for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your heat setting on your grill. You want it pretty hot though, maybe around 400 degrees, even 400 plus. 
So I like to place it on top of a tray just so if anything falls or drips, it's not on the board, but inside a foil tray. Put forward, close it. So just like this, it is going on the grill and we'll show you the final result. Everyone, so the fish has cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes on the grill. So it is now ready. So let's just see up close. So this is rainbow trout grilled and we have some garlic, tomatoes, dill and Dijon mustard to fill up the inside of the fish. And so here is the final product. I hope you try it out. It's a great recipe to make next time for your barbecue or just for yourself for dinner. It is a healthy recipe and this fish tastes really, really great. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next recipe. Thank you. Bye.